Okay, so let's have a quick look around inside Backlink Rhino so that you can see what the software can do for you. There are two types of searches available, the dead links search and the citation needed search. And you simply use this switch to swap between the two. Let's start with the dead link search. Now I'm simply gonna type in a keyword for a market or topic that I'm interested in and click on the go button on the right hand side here. Now you'll see it's very quick to come up with the results. These are live and immediate results from Wikipedia itself. And if I scroll down, you'll see that we're not just talking about one or two results here, there's lots. Okay, so let's scroll back up to the top. The results returned show the title of the article along with the search term snippet and the word count for the article. Now clicking on the title of the article will take you to the article itself on Wikipedia. Clicking on the arrow to the left of each listing will open up a new sub table showing the dead links found on the page, normally just one. Now when you first do this, you may get a little spinning symbol to say that it's currently doing the work, which will just take a few seconds. The link destination and the anchor text are shown along with whether that page appears in archive.org and a status code. Now a 404 code means it's a dead page on a live domain, whereas a zero means that the domain might be available for registration. It's quite possibly expired. So that's what we're actually looking for. Now I'm just gonna reduce this particular result and choose a different one to have a look at, which is this one here, Bitstake. Now let's wait for that to finish analyzing. And the status is currently showing as 200. But a couple of weeks ago when I did the first version of the demonstration video for Backlink Rhino, this was actually the third link that I chose and it was showing a zero and it was an expired domain. It's not showing as an expired domain anymore because I grabbed it. So let's click on the URL for that domain and open it up so that you can actually see. Now it turns out the Bitstake is a defunct Nigerian cryptocurrency exchange uh, site. And basically they went out of business and let this site expire. So I've grabbed it, I've used links from Wikipedia to dig up some information and recreated uh, an information page about Bitstake along with a few useful links at the bottom. And right down here you can see Matt Garrett Limited. This is actually a link to my blog to verify that it is my site. If I click on that, it will take us through to mattgarrett.com. There we go. Okay, so you can see that is my site that it's linking to. And it also links to bitstake.co, which is the, the main URL for this site. If I click on that, you'll see that, that I've got a, an advert for Backlink Rhino on there. And again, I'll simply click back. Now you can actually go to the registry uh, and verify that I registered this domain on June the 15th of 2017, okay? I found it using Backlink Rhino and it was literally the third link that I checked. And thanks to Backlink Rhino, I now own a domain that has a direct link to it from Wikipedia. And these links at the bottom here, these could link to my own pages, my own sites, my own offers, my client sites or offers, my videos in YouTube, and the site, this particular domain, is in a market, cryptocurrency, bitcoins, that I have offers in. So you start to see the power of Backlink Rhino. Within minutes, you can be picking up expired domains that have backlinks from Wikipedia, a site that Google gives massive authority to. In simple terms, Google trusts Wikipedia, and I now own and control a site that Wikipedia links directly to. And it all took me less than 30 minutes to find the site, register it, set it up, find and repurpose some content. Incidentally, I found that from articles linked to from the original Wikipedia article, so very easy to find relevant content and just rewrite it. Now I could easily rent just one link from this new site to a client for 50 to 100 bucks. Or if I wanted a quick return on my investment, I could easily flip the whole site for a few hundred bucks. Wikipedia links are simply that powerful. And with Backlink Rhino, they're also that quick and easy to find. Now let's go and look at the other type of backlink available in Backlink Rhino, which are called citation needed and I'll just hit refresh to clear out the previous results. And I'm gonna use Bitcoin again, simply because it's a market that I'm familiar with and have sites and blogs in. So let's type in Bitcoin and click on go. 
and again you'll notice that the results are very quick to come up and if I scroll down there are an awful lot of results. These are again live results using the API directly from Wikipedia itself. Now citations needed are claims and quotes in articles on Wikipedia already published that need a citation, in other words a source backlink, in order to prove that claim or quote. Now obviously this is a great opportunity for you to do the necessary research and become the citation yourself. To put it in simple terms, you have a site in a related niche. You find a citation needed link, do a bit of research to get the data to prove the claim or quote, and post that on a page on your site. Then you can edit the Wikipedia page to replace the citation needed with a direct link to that post or page on your site. Now this is real white hat SEO that works long term and Google loves. Yes, it does involve a bit of work as you need to do a bit of research, but if it's a niche that you're already in, you're likely to already know a lot about it. The major upside here is that you are getting a link to your own site, blog or video directly from Wikipedia. And that means that all that Google trust and ranking juice is going to flow through to your site and help the other pages on your site rank higher as well. Okay, so the results you get are similar to the dead links. You get the title and snippet and word count. And if you click on the little arrow to the left, it opens up to give you more information specifically information on what the citation needed is about. Uh, the simple way of doing it is let's click on the link for the page and bring up the Wikipedia page itself. And on that Wikipedia page in my browser, I'm going to simply hit Control F to do a search. And if I type in CITA, basically type in citation needed, and it will take you to the first occurrence where there is a citation needed. You'll see there are actually two, three here on this page that I can see straight away. So you can see the topics that need source information to back them up and work out which one you can create or provide most easily and which fits with your site the best. Basically, Wikipedia are asking you, the visiting expert, to provide verification of someone else's claim. By doing so, you get the benefit of having a backlink from them. They get what they want and you get what you want a high quality authority backlink to your site. Now I'm not going to cover exactly how to do the edit in this demo video. There's plenty of tutorial videos on how to do that in the members area and it really is pretty simple. Now the other thing to remember is that Wikipedia is an encyclopedia. Its whole purpose is to try and cover every topic that there is. So the odds on you having a site in a niche or market that isn't covered by Wikipedia is pretty low. Not only is it likely to be covered, there are likely to be all sorts of related pages and articles. So there will be more than one source, both of dead links and citation needed links that are available for your particular niche or market. It's that big and it's that powerful. That's part of why Google trusts it part of why it has such high domain authority and exactly why you want to get backlinks from it to your sites, pages, videos, offers, clients, whatever you need to use them for. Backlink Rhino makes that really quick and really easy to do. Wikipedia backlinks are often offered as a service from SEO companies who charge $50 to $100 for just one backlink. With Backlink Rhino, you can search for as many as you want and once you own the domain, you have far more flexibility on what you can use the backlinks for, whether you want to rank a post on your own site, an offer or squeeze page, or even a video on YouTube. Using just one backlink from your own domain linked to from Wikipedia will get you far more Google ranking juice than buying a bunch of low quality links from other services. It's like getting the backlink juice from a public blog network from just one link. When it comes to backlinks and ranking, Wikipedia backlinks are the gold standard. Not only can you use these links for yourself, you could easily charge clients for providing these backlinks and even charge them a monthly recurring as an SEO service, creating a long-term recurring income stream for your business. You could even sell the domains by flipping them on a domain sales site for quick profits. If you want to be able to rank on demand 
for high value buyer keywords, Backlink Rhino is the solution. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.